What's up, fellas? I am not the expert. Welcome back to the best position in the NFL tournament. It's been a great tournament so far, a lot of competitive games. If you haven't seen them yet, there will be a playlist link in the description below. I'm especially excited for this game because we have the fullbacks, which we have not seen in any tournament up to this point, and they're going against another similar position as them, the tight ends. The fullbacks team is a 32 overall, they have a 47 overall offense and a 17 overall defense. The tight ends team, which will be represented by the Kansas City Chiefs, they have a 39 overall. 79 overall offense, zero overall defense. As usual, if you don't care about the rosters and you want to skip straight to the game, you can go ahead and skip to this time code right here. The team of fullbacks offense is kind of scattered out randomly. They're all pretty decent at almost everything, so it's hard to decide where to put a lot of the people. They do have an issue though, they do not have a solid quarterback. Just out of pure randomness, Jostin Fowler will be their starting quarterback. He's a 12 overall, 30 throw power, and you can tell his accuracy stats are nowhere up to par. Their running back will be Derek Coleman. He, I believe, has the fastest speed out of any uh, fullback in the game. 88 speed, 86 acceleration, and he even has 80 trucking, so don't sleep on this guy. Wide receivers, you got Marcel Reese, who has 81 route running. That's pretty solid. You got John Kuhn as well. He's been in the league a long time. And the third string, 47 overall, CJ Ham of the Minnesota Vikings. The fullback's defense is what really surprised me. There's a lot of guys on this team that have some fairly decent stats kicking for them they will have will ta ufo Ooh, what i have no idea how to say his name not even gonna try but he has 47 kick power 35 kick accuracy which is not the worst kicker in this tournament so far this team is really exciting in my opinion the tight ends team pretty decent offensive line with almost 70s across the board They've got Rob Gronkowski, 99 overall. Greg Olson is the backup. They have guys who are good at wide receiver. Jordan Reed, Tyler Eifert, Travis Kelsey. Their quarterback is the second highest overall out of position quarterback in the game. And Logan Thomas, 93 throw power and some solid accuracy stats. He did play quarterback at Virginia Tech like most of the out of position quarterbacks in college. So I had a couple options for running back. I decided to go with Evan Ingram mainly because he has the highest speed rating in the game at 90. The defense, there's really no one standing out uh, besides this one guy who I've never heard of, Greg Scruggs. I believe he's a free agent right now in the NFL, used to play for the Seahawks. The kicker for this team is Michael Humanwanawanui. Michael Who's Man. I don't know where these names are coming from, but he has 42 kick power, 40 kick accuracy. Once again, not expecting a lot from him. Given the tight ends at home field advantage here today, just because they are the higher overall. Alongside that, I think it's clear that the tight ends are the favorites in this game. They really should be winning by multiple touchdowns, but who knows? It is Madden. Anything can happen. They're going to hand it off to Evan Ingram on the first carry. About a pickup of four yards. They're going to do an option play. Logan Thomas, he's got some space. Oh, and he fumbles it, but he's able to pick up his own fumble, avoiding disaster. Here's they're going to throw it off to the flats. Evan Ingram has the first down, the first one for anybody today. Another third down for the tight ends. He's got a lot of time to throw it. He finds Greg Olson, who falls down short of the first down marker. They got a decision to make here. They do this every single time. They're going to punt the football away fourth and one inside the red zone this makes no sense as the line drive punt is caught a measly two yards ahead all right the fullbacks the underdogs can they pull something off here Justin fowler my goodness yep he is definitely a 12 overall hurls it downfield on third down cj ham drops the ball that was their first opportunity to get some major yardage and they failed will tofu UFO gets the ball pretty deep downfield. Evan Ingram catches it on the run, and this could be a huge return. Evan Ingram, no one in front of him all the way. Incredible Evan Ingram off of the punt return. First time I've ever seen that happen from just the CPU. Well, that one woke me up a bit. This game is starting to get exciting again. Here goes the kick, and it's not going very far as it is caught by the defense, and he will be tackled where he catches it. Oh, well, yep. No hope for extra points for this team. Fowler's going to throw it. This one is surprisingly accurate. John Kuhn's got it. He goes through the defensive back to get into the end zone, and that'll tie this game up. Fullbacks, can they make the extra point? This one is significantly better than the tight ends kicker, but it is still short, and we still have a tie ball game. 
They love this play action. He's going to dart it to the end zone. Travis Kelsey, what a snag. Two defenders on him, still hauls it in. <laughs> you think height was a factor? That little fullback stood no chance. The point after attempt, once again, same result. Not good. Here goes second and inches, then Derek Coleman still going. Gets to the secondary before he's brought down six rushes, 40 yards. He's been productive today. Can Fowler do it again? Look at that O-line, man. Diving catch from John Kuhn again. These guys clearly have a connection. John Kuhn has been leading this offense. Second and 14, Coleman. That is going to be a touchdown. They might be small in stature, but they've got all the heart in the world. Giving it another shot here on second and goal. Quick throw. Travis Kelsey on the slant route. Untouched for his second touchdown of the game. Third down for the fullbacks. Just about a minute to go. He's trying to scramble out, but he is going to be brought down. Logan Thomas. They're, not, they're only sending three people to blitz. Throws it to the end zone. It's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Massive defensive stop for the fullbacks. And a huge mistake from Logan Thomas. Play action here on first down. It looks like a screen pass. John Kuhn, the defender scrubbed up. Oh, but John Kuhn is not quick enough to get to the end zone. Still a fantastic day for him. Critical situation here. Third and seven on the 10-yard line. This is huge. He's going to throw it off to the flats. And that's all they're going to get because he's out of bounds. Oh, my goodness. They're really going to try it. They're going to try the field goal. It is shorter than an extra point, but who knows if he can actually make it. Here we go. Oh dear, <laughs> that one was rough. Later. Giving it to Coleman again. The O line just straight pancaked everybody. If you didn't know his name before, you gotta know it now. Derek Coleman gets his second rushing touchdown of the game, and they have tied up this game once again. That happens way too often in Madden. I've started to notice that, but nonetheless, the fullbacks get the entire pancake and the touchdown. Second and two, Evan Ingram has the first down and more. He has got a nasty hit stick on him, though. Surprised he didn't fumble that one. Dumps it off to Greg Olson. He's in the end zone. Logan Thomas gets his third passing touchdown of the game and the lead for the tight ends. Massive third and 11 play. Five minutes left. They need a touchdown to tie this game up, and he's going to be sacked. Greg Scruggs, the highest rated defensive player on this tight ends team, Brings down both the fullback and the quarterback on this play. Can the fullback somehow manage to get a stop here? This is the game right here if they don't pull it off. Hits him in the backfield. Jay Prosh with the tackle as they burn their second to last timeout. Just five yards to pick up a first down. And he's going to have more than that. Eric Ebron in the end zone for the touchdown. Quite possibly a victory in today's game. Under a minute now. It is third down. He's got some pressure on him, chucking it to the end zone. Almost hauled in. No doubt in their minds, they're going to go for it here on fourth down. No other option. Down by two touchdowns with 49 seconds left. What the heck? <laughs> that was the most anticlimactic ending to a football game I have ever seen. Justin Fowler, who looked pretty decent most of the day, seemingly out of nowhere, chucks it straight into the dirt to absolutely no one, and that will be the end of the game. That'll do it for this game. Titans take this one 30 to 18. It was a very exciting game, especially in the first half. Definitely kind of fell off in the second half though. Checking out the stats real quick, Justin Fowler, the 12 overall quarterback was 13 of 27, 165 passing yards, 48% completion percentage, and one touchdown. Not really that bad of a day for him. Logan Thomas, nine of 18, 143 passing yards, 50% completion percentage, Three touchdowns and only one interception. Evan Ingram led all rushers today, 117 rushing yards. He, he did not get in the end zone on the ground, but he did have a punt return touchdown. Derek Coleman was a beast today for the fullbacks. 13 carries, 113 rushing yards, and two touchdowns. John Kuhn was that dude, though, receiving for the fullbacks. Four catches, 83 yards, and a touchdown. Travis Kelsey, also a massive day for him. Three catches, 61 yards, and two touchdowns. A lot of kicking problems for these teams. No one made a field goal or an extra point today. With that victory, the tight ends will move on to the quarterfinals against the running backs. That is 100% going to be an epic game. And that will leave us with only one game left in the first round. The offensive line versus the defensive line, which we will show in the next video. 
Anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, big old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace. In the 30s, they're going to hand this one off to Patrick Peterson. He's got some room around the side. Oh, that was a nasty juke move. Breaks a tackle. He's in the end zone. Just two plays to score for the corners. They're in complete control of this game. My goodness, Patrick Peterson.